Hey, I'm Rob from JustTheRoad.com and I'm going to show you how to play Micro Macro Crime City almost entirely spoiler free. You will get plenty of notice. I'll explain everything in a bit. This is a game for one to four players, plays in about 15 to 45 minutes per case. It's designed by Johanna Sick and is published by Edition Spielweis. You're investigating several cases. Each stage in the case will give you somewhere, someone or something to find in Crime City. Complete all the stages in the case to win. Now this how to play will be in two parts. The first will be to quickly solve the small case on the front of the box, allowing you to see how the game plays so you get an idea of what the game is about if you've never seen it before. At this point you may feel like you've seen enough and you're free to leave without even seeing anything inside the box. However, after this we'll be looking at the first card in the introductory case. Now we won't be looking at the answer to that card, but we'll get more of an idea of how the game plays and how a case progresses as you go. But for your first case, find the like, share, subscribe and notification buttons and click each of them in any order you choose. Or else. I'm sorry, spending time in this city it really changes you. So on the front of the box it says, who murdered the burger vendor? So if we look over here we can see the burger stand and the burger vendor inside. As this map is various snapshots in time we can follow them down the road holding a bag. Crossing the street, behind the logo on the box, crossing another street and there they are, dead in the park, bagless but with a bat next to them. Now if you trace this path back you can see the owner of the bat, a masked rabbit with a floppy ear that was following the burger vendor the whole time. The solution can be found on the back of the box if you want to confirm that. Now before we look at the introductory case there are some setup instructions and some tips in the rule book. The cards for the 16 different cases come in two shrimp wrapped decks so you need to sort them out by the numbers and symbols without looking at the back of the cards and then put them in the included envelopes. The first card in the case is white and the rest are black which is good to know when it comes to sorting them out. Also remember to stick the sticker on the magnifying glass so you don't put it down and lose it. Then lay out the entire map so everyone can see it and make sure the room is well lit. A rule so important, they list it twice. They also suggest getting some beads or tokens or whatever to mark places on the map so you can go back to points earlier in the case. Now you designate one player to be the lead investigator. They will be in charge of reading the text on the cards. And as this is a pre-recorded video and not a live stream, I'll be the lead investigator. The introductory case is called the top hat and consists of five cards, so get them now. At this point, if you don't want the question on the first card of the introductory case spoiled, you're free to leave now, but do remember to like, share and subscribe. Or else. Again, I am so sorry. This isn't even mine. The top card of the deck gives you the name of the case, and the future cases show the difficulty rating. Now the lead investigator flips it over and reads it out loud. Fernando Branca was on his way to the local pub. Upon arrival, he noticed that his top hat had disappeared. The pub is located in the east of the city between Neptune Park and the hardware store. There is poor hatless Fernando. Then you remove this card and reveal the top of the next one which here is step one of the case. Find the pub. At this point players search on the map for the piece or pieces of information shown on the card. Also as the rule book says if you want to be a quarterbacking alpha gamer, don't. So let's see there is Neptune Park with a statue of Neptune and there looks like a hardware store with a hammer. Once you have found the right scene you're looking for, you look at the grid reference. So I think this is the pub, right? It's a bit out of the way, admittedly, but there's a pint glass on the sign, so I'll go for that. This is column D, row 1, so D1. And once all the players have agreed they found the right scene, the lead investigator, me, will see if they're right by checking the back of the card. This will show the correct grid reference, the exact scene you're looking for, and also a bit of story about what's going on. So did we find the right scene? Well, that would be spoiling, wouldn't it? If we did find the right scene, we move on to the top of the next card in the deck and that will show what the next task will be. Now if we didn't find the right scene, as lead investigator I now know the answer so we'll continue to look without my help. There are a couple of symbols. The light bulb shows that the clue found here may be helpful later on in the case. This symbol means you also look at the next card in the deck, giving you two tasks to complete simultaneously. And that's how to play Micro Macro Crime City. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a video goes live. You can follow me on Twitter, Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Jester of the Rogue and finally find the blog at JesterTheRogue.com. I've been Rob aka Jester of the Rogue and I'll see you soon.